Human Smolecular Representation Contribution for the previous classes. So now we are discussing representation of the 3D molecule in 2D plane. So to represent the 3D molecule in 2D plane, so different uh, big, uh, few molecular uh, uh, representations we are using. So in that one, first one is the what is that? First one is the uh, wedge dash method, and the next the second one is the fissure, and the third one is the Newman's molecular representation. Newman's molecular representation. Therefore, what are the important important points in this Newman's molecular representation? Here? In this model, we are seeing the molecule along CC bond, along the CC bond. That means, imagine this is a CC bond, but this this end carbon and the other end another carbon atom. In this model, in Newman's model, we will see this molecule through through CC bond, through CC bond, okay? So not in this way, I am seeing like this. That means this is the front carbon and this is back carbon or real carbon. Back carbon is also represented as also known as nothing but real carbon, real carbon, okay? So when I saw the molecule like this, therefore I am able to see only this end carbon only. I am unable to see other end. Why? Because the front carbon includes the back carbon. The front carbon includes the back carbon. So that's why. So this front carbon is represented with this model. Front carbon is represented in this model with a dot. Front carbon is represented with a dot. Next. <coughs> front carbon, I want to take point the front carbon shows in the form of a dot. And the next, keep three lines are with 120 degree angle of separation. Generally we know carbon have tetra valence. That means carbon always forms four bonds only. Four bonds only. So, in CC bond, already one bond is along with the, I am talking about this carbon atom, I am talking this carbon atom. Therefore, so the first bond is CC bond. What about other three bonds? Suppose I will take an example as a methane molecule. Sorry, ethane molecule. I am taking an example as a methane molecule. So I will write this molecule is like this. CH3. Yes, this is the ethane molecule. I am giving it. number. This is the first carbon, second carbon. This is the first hydrogen, second hydrogen, third hydrogen, fourth hydrogen, fifth hydrogen, and sixth hydrogen. Sixth hydrogen. Okay, so I am representing this ethane molecule in humans model. First time you see the molecule through CC bond. CC bond. Now this is the front carbon. That means I am observing this molecule in this direction. In this direction, I am observing. Therefore, I am able to see only the first carbon. I am unable to see second, real carbon, single carbon. Why? Because this is eclipsed with the, this one. Like uh, solar eclipse, you know. What is solar eclipse? What is solar eclipse? So, this is sun and uh, this is earth. Between sun and earth, moon will come. Therefore, therefore, this shape will fall on earth. Therefore, in this region, which people are living, therefore they are unable to see sun. This is called as solar eclipse. That means this part is, therefore this part is eclipse. This part is eclipse. Why? Because sun, sorry, moon comes between the sun and earth. In a similar manner, here this carbon overlap or this carbon eclipses the carbon, uh, second carbon atom. Okay? Clear? I am seeing the molecule. Suppose this is CC bond. Suppose imagine this is CC bond. I am seeing the molecule like this. In the molecule like this, I am only able to see this end only, I am not unable to see another end. Okay? Clear? Now, right. What is the point here? Front carbon shows in the form of dots. Okay? This carbon. I am talking about this carbon atom. Front carbon shows in the form of dot. Dot. Next step. Keep three lines on with 120 degree angle of separation. So, these three bonds are there now. First bond, second bond, three, uh, third bond. These three bonds with the represented with the minimum angle. What is the angle of separation? 120. Right. This is the, these are the three bonds. One, first bond, second bond, third bond. What are these hydrogens? Okay, H1, H2, and H3. What is the bond and angle of separation between these two? What is the angle of separation between these two? 120. Here, 120. Here, 120. Total, if you imagine this is a circle, Imagine this is a circle, total angle, how much? 360 degrees. Next. So this carbon, over. Next come to second carbon, that means rear carbon. Rear carbon or back carbon is represented in the form of circle. In the form of circle. In the form of circle. Okay? Right. Next. This 
carbon also have another three bonds now. These another three bonds also will give me angle of separation. Another angle of separation. Therefore, here H6, here H1, here H4. Okay. So this is the human model representation for the simple ethane, simple ethane molecule, simple ethane molecule. Right. So what is the front carbon here? First carbon C1, this stone. What is the second carbon? Here. The circle carbon is represented with the rear carbon. Right. Nice. So we are talking about the bond angle, the angle of separation between these which create H4 is angle of separation is equal to 0 degrees. That means H3 is overlap, H4. H3 is overlap, H4. If you see the molecule, therefore H3, H3 occupies the, or H3 occupies, sorry, H3 covers H4. So you are unable to see H4. That means H3 eclipses H4. Okay. So you are unable to see H4. 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 So H2 eclipse H4 and here also angle of separation how much? 0 degrees like a fissure. Like a fissure. Okay, master. See, just for general fissure, I will write here A, A, B, B, C, C. If you observe this fissure, already told, what is the angle of separation between these two groups? 0. Here, what is the angle of separation? 0. Angle of separation between A and A is also 0. So, fissure is there. Fully eclipse confirmation. Fix in your mind. Fissure is always a fully eclipse. Fully eclipse representation. Fully eclipse representation. Okay. Now, interconversion of interconversion of these representations into human into fissure, fissure into human will. Okay. See now my pain is. So, carbon is a new model into Fisher model. Okay. So, Fisher model already we discussed. How many carbon atoms are there? Two carbon atoms are there. This is the C1 carbon, this is the C2 carbon. This is C1 and the red carbon. C1 carbon, what is there here? H3, right? Yes or no? H3 is there here. H3, next step. H1, next step. H2. Okay, next step. H3 is eclipsed with what? H4. I will write H4 here. Why? Because in fission model, these two groups are eclipsed. That means angle of separation how much? 0 degrees. Angle of separation 0 degrees. Next one. H3, H4 eclipsed. Next H1 and H6. Here I will write H6. Next one. H2 and H5. H2 and H5. Okay, right? So H1 and H6 angle of separation 0. H2 is angle of separation 0. And H4 and H3 also angle of separation 0. Okay? So, Interconversion. Human into fissure, fissure into neon. Fissure into neon. Right. Now, I will give, now I will give another uh, fissure model. Now, we are able to convert into Newman's model. Okay. Do it yourself. Right. Tartaric acid I am giving, beso tartaric acid I am giving. OH, OH, COOH, COOH, COOH. This is the meso tartaric acid. Why I said meso tartaric acid? It means the molecules, the molecules which are having chiral centers. This is the chiral center, this is also chiral center. And the plane of symmetry and the sigma plane it is there. Plane is see if you just pass the one plane, so middle of this molecule, that plane cuts this molecule into two equal halves. Yes or no? So if I draw one plane like this, therefore exactly the upper portion, exactly the upper portion is mirror image is to the Lower portion. Yes, sir. So these type of molecules. That means the molecules which are having chiral centers and containing sigma plane. And that means mirror plane. So those type of molecules are called as what? Meso compounds. Those type of compounds are called as meso compounds. Okay. Now, but what is the origin here? This Fisher model. This Fisher model is converted into how to convert into Newman's model. See? Alright. This is the the lowest carbon, this is the front carbon. That means we have to represent with the dot. We represent with the dot and the three bonds angle of separation is 180 degrees. I am not talking about this carbon at all. First carbon, that means front carbon, second carbon is the rear carbon. This first carbon having what are the groups here? CO, OH, next. OH and third one, hydrogen. Now first carbon. 
and the carbon is finished. Next come to second carbon. In for Newman's model, what is the thing here? The back carbon or rear carbon represented with the circle. Therefore, I have to represent this with the circle. I have to represent that one with the circle. Now, what are the groups are there here? See, this OH and this OH, this OH and this one is eclipsed. That means angle of separation zero. Therefore, this OH and uh, another OH is eclipsed. Next one, hydrogen. Here hydrogen is there, here also hydrogen is there. Therefore, this hydrogen, this hydrogen eclipsed. And uh, these groups are eclipsed or not? I already told. So, this is taking as a reference. This is taking as a reference to apply that concept to this molecule. Here, 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 Similarly, in the MAS here, carboxylic acid is there. Therefore, this carboxylic acid and another carboxylic acid are eclipsed. Eclipsed means what is that? Angle of separation is how much? Zero. Angle of separation is zero. So, this is the interconversion. Okay? In the examination, they will give this model to convert into fissure means. So, we have to do like this. Or otherwise, vice versa. Newman's into, sorry, fissure into Newman's, Newman's into fissure. Okay? Clear? Now, this is fully eclipsed conformation. Why do you call the angle of separation between all groups is what? Here? Yeah. Zero. It is fully eclipsed conformation. See, carboxylic acid is a very bulky group. Carboxylic acid is a very bulky group here. These two groups are eclipsed matter. These two groups are eclipsed. Here, OH is also eclipsed. Here, hydrogen and hydrogen also eclipsed. Now, you do 60 degree rotation for this one. 60 degree rotation for this one. For this new one model. Already we know the angle of separation between any two lines is 120 degrees. So in the rotation, what you have to do now? Fix one carbon as a static. Okay? Okay, carbon is fix JC and then this one you have to rotate the other carbon. Okay? If you want to fix first carbon, then rotate the second carbon. Otherwise, if you want to fix the second carbon, you rotate the front carbon. But uh, now I will fix the first carbon. I will, first, I will fix the first carbon, I will write as usual. First carbon, front carbon is right. I will fix the front carbon here. I will rotate the second carbon, that means rear carbon and up in a clockwise manner. Here clockwise manner, 60 degree rotation and therefore to what kind of rotation is there? 60 degree rotation. Now what is the angle of separation between these two? 120. So I want, I want only 60 rotation, therefore exactly half. That means exactly like on this position. Back carbon, here, voltage, here, this carbon, here, voltage, here, voltage, here, voltage, here, voltage, here, voltage, here, voltage, here, this side here, this two moves to here. As I gave up, and one hydrogen moves to like this. Now here, hydrogen. Yes, that means bulky groups are somewhat separating each other. Here, steel strain, or at least steel strain, or steel repulsions are somewhat minimized. Initially, one is very close. In the case of these bulky groups are very close. Therefore, bulky groups are very close. Means the group containing electrons and this group containing electrons are repel each other. Therefore, energy of the system is increasing. Energy is increasing. System gets a destabilization. System gets a destabilization. Okay? So that's why if you perform 60 degree rotation, these bulky groups are somewhat, these bulky groups are somewhat moving for each other. And here, there is a chance of hydrogen bonding. It stabilizes. Here, hydrogen bonding is existed. Highly electronic oxygen atom, this hydrogen requires a positive charge. And this oxygen is not given, therefore, there is the existence of hydrogen. Next, one more 60 degree rotation in the form. Now, 60 degrees, 120 degrees, then I can give you. 120 degrees, for this kind of pressure, 120 degrees. Now, I am fixing one carbon atom, okay? Always remember, always remember, fix one carbon atom and rotate the other carbon atom. Now, initially, I am fixing first carbon atom, yes or no? This COH and OH and hydrogen. OH and hydrogen. Now for this one, 120 degree rotation. This one will come here. My carbon law. This hydrogen comes to this place. And uh, this OH comes to here. And uh, 
zero one is comes to this position. This is called as a fully, fully, fully strain free, strain free conformation or staggered conformation, staggered conformation or is also called as anti conformation, anti or staggered, anti or staggered conformation. Why because here see the bulky groups are existing far apart each other when the bulky groups are existing far apart each other the steering precautions are very minimized therefore when steering precautions are minimized the energy of the system decreases already we know always the energy of the molecule and the stability of the molecules is inverse relation energy of the molecule increasing stability of the molecule is decreases when stability of the molecule increases means energy should be less okay vice versa so whenever energy of the system is decreasing, therefore stability of the molecule increases. That's why staggered conformations are in the most conformations, staggered form is more stable. In the most of the conformations, staggered form is more stable. Why? Because the bulky groups are existing far apart each other. Okay? So like this, sir, any kind of rotation you have to do. Okay? If you know the angle of uh, angle of separation between the groups, then easily you can perform any kind of rotation. Any kind of Okay, so next one more example we will see butane molecule. Butane molecule we will see. Butane molecule, young butane, I am taking here example. Example. Can be open. This is an organ, saturated molecule. I am writing now. CH3, CH2, CH2, and CH3. Okay? 1, 2, 3, 4. Butane. 4 carbons are there. Butane. So all are single bonds. That's why it is an organ. Therefore, this is a butane or an butane. Why? Because it is a straight chain. No branches are there. Okay? So for this one, I am writing Newman's model. Newman's model representation. Now, I am representing this is the front carbon and this is the back carbon. This is the front carbon and this is the back carbon. See, by using Newman's model. Front carbon is always represented with the Observe carefully. Front carbon is always represented with the dot. This carbon. And uh, what about, uh, what about uh, the other ones? One is CH3. One is CH3. One is CH3. And other one, two hydrogens. Keep the angle of separation between all the groups at least. What is the bond angle here? 120, 120, 120. Total? Total 360. Next. Front carbon over. Next come to rear carbon. Third carbon is the rear carbon here. Now the rear carbon is represented with circle. And uh, this is also having methyl group. Next. Hydrogens. Two hydrogens. Okay, now. So total how many hydrogens are there here two and here two? One, two, three, four. Four hydrogens over. Next one metal two and another metal two for the one metal two for third carbon and uh, one metal two for second carbon. See here, this is for one carbon, second carbon, and this is for the third carbon. This is the which form? Which form this is eclipse form? This is eclipse form. This is eclipse form. Uh, firstly, you can convert this into fissure model. Fissure model. Pressure model is represented with the cross model. Okay? So vertical lines and horizontal lines. The meeting point this is a this is a carbon or other hydrogen. Now this is the bottom carbon. Bottom carbon is the front carbon in pressure model. Here this is the this one now then right methyl group, methyl group and hydrogen H1 and H2. Next one. Rail carbon is this carbon, rail carbon is this carbon. Now H1 is eclipsed with which one? H3. Next one. H2 is a group given. H4. And uh, methyl group is a group given. Methyl group. This is the special conversion. This is the special conversion. Okay, clear? Right. Now, this is fully eclipsed conformation. This is what? Fully eclipsed conformation. What is the point angle between this methyl group and second methyl group? Zero. This and this? Zero. This and this? Zero. Now, do some rotation. Do some rotation. 60 degree rotation you have to perform on this eclipse molecule. Now, so when you are whether remember one thing whether you are performing a rotation, so fix one carbon. Fix one 
for organizing static that means don't touch that bar just keep it as a constant on this one and rotate the other if you want to rotate the other one okay right see h3 h1 and h2 i will touch this one for the other now i perform rotation on rear car i perform rotation on second car one so what how much i need what is the angle of rotation 60 degree rotation 60 degree rotation therefore this side angle will come exactly here and this side angle will come here and next h4 h4 okay so see initially between bulky group metal group is a bulky group or not yes metal group actually existing like this this is a bulky group compared to hydrogen hydrogen is a small atom very small atom in entire periodic table so why we call this is only having only one shell only one shell but if see here carbon and other three hydrogen atoms so these are existing like this this type of three bulky groups are existing very close therefore energy of the system is increased so when we perform the rotation there is a angle of separation between these two bulky groups that means they are moving somewhat somewhat distance so therefore what happens steel to forces are reversed or not yes these type of rotations are called as gauge Type of rotations are called. This will either form it is called as a washi, washi form. This is also a staggered form, but it is a it is a it has a special name that is a washi form. But because the bulky groups have a somewhat minimum separation. Next one, you do another sixty degree rotation. You do the another sixty degree rotation. Now, fix front carbon as a constant. Don't touch front carbon. Change the direction. Now. This metal group comes to here, na. The other sixty degree rotation is C H three, and this H four comes to this H four comes to this side H four. Next, this H three comes in this side H three comes in this side angle of separation is like this. Angle of separation like this. Now see here initially between two bulky groups there is a eclipse, but see here C H three and the hydrogen. One bulky group, another one is a small atom. So here also somewhat steel group forces are existing, but not seen in the form of fully eclipsed. Why because in fully eclipsed two metal groups are existing close. So here also somewhat steel interaction. Here also somewhat steel interaction are there. So therefore this is called as a partially eclipsed form. This is called as a partially eclipsed form. Why? Because one there is a eclipse between, or there is a repulsion between one bulky group and one small, other small atom. Here between two bulky groups, here experiences severe repulsion, but somewhat less. Right. Next, you do on this one, one point eight degree rotation. No, sixty degree rotation. Perform sixty degree rotation on this one. Now keep on carbon as a constant. C H three, H one, and H two. Right. On this molecule and one more sixty degree rotation. Therefore, this C H three comes to here, and uh, H four comes to here, and uh, H three comes to. Now chapter the final molecule. Now chapter the this one. Here between two large groups, between two large bulky metal groups. So therefore, maximum angle of separation, maximum angle of separation. Therefore, it gives less steric repulsion, less steric interaction. Therefore, low energy and highly stable. This form it is called as a anti form. This form is called as a anti form. This is also called as a staggered form. This is also called as a staggered. Okay, so staggered forms are two types. One is anti form, and another one is a gauge form. So in staggered form, so what will happen? There is a separation between the bulky groups. Here less separation. Here less separation. Angle of separation common six degrees. But in anti form, maximum separation. Maximum separation. That's why we have a fully eclipsed form, gauge form, and staggered form, and partially eclipsed form, staggered form. That means anti form is a highly stable. Always remember. Staggered form. Finally, concluding here. Staggered forms are 
स्टैगर फॉर्म्स आर मोर स्टेबल देन द स्टैगर फॉर्म्स आर मोर स्टेबल देन द इक्लिप्स फॉर्म्स स्टैगर फॉर्म्स आर मोर स्टेबल देन द इक्लिप्स फॉर्म्स एंड इन स्टैगर फॉर्म्स एंड द फॉर्म इज हाईली स्टेबल व्हाई बिकॉज़ मोर सेपरेशन बिटवीन द बल्किंग ग्रुप एंड द फॉर्म इज मोर स्टेबल एंड नेक्स्ट आर गॉशी नेक्स्ट आर गॉशी फॉर्म एंड नेक्स्ट आर पार्शियल इक्लिप्स इन इक्लिप्स टू टाइप्स आर देयर पार्शियल इक्लिप्स एंड फुली इक्लिप्स partially eclipsed partially eclipsed and the least stable is fully eclipsed form the least stable fully eclipsed this is the energy learn here all right because confirmation analysis also there in confirmation analysis also yeah you can confirm and confirmation analysis is there there i will discuss this one okay so you learn here all this This is helpful for confirmation analysis also. Confirmation analysis of your unit is in your cells, right? So what is the energy are there here? Antiform is more stable than next Gaussian and partial eclipse and least highly energetic repulsion is fully eclipse. More steady than repulsion. Okay, right. So this is about the human molecular repulsion.